Greeting game changers and beautiful people. I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. Um, we are getting closer and closer to the uh, 2019 and so I'm going to continue with sharing uh, yoga with you and to help you feel that yoga is accessible and to teach you some movements that you can add to your daily routine that you can spend 15 minutes a day and really start to feel some benefits of your strength, balance, flexibility and uh, overall helping you to maybe if your goal is weight loss um, to help you lose a little bit of weight in the process. Of course weight loss you have to add uh, healthy eating patterns and sometimes you have to add um, more cardio burn. So as I teach you more yoga moves, you will definitely start to recognize that yoga is a cardio burning practice. Um, that if you do it for longer flows, that you will definitely start to get your heart re heartbeat going and allow you to start losing some poundage. So um, I really hope that this helps you. And so today I'm actually going to add five more movements. I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, yesterday I taught you eight for the uh, sun salutation. And today I'm going to add five more into that flow. So I'll go over that so you get a quick look at it. And then I'm going to go through it two times. And this time, once again, just spending three really good warrior breaths at each pose to help you to feel the pose before we move on. So again, the warrior breath is in through the nose and out through the throat as though you are fogging a glass. And that breath will help you to release stress. And once again, yoga is a mindfulness practice. So it's not about rushing through the movements. It's about allowing yourself to deepen into them and to feel the benefit as you're taking your time to let yourself relax while exercising. So let's get started. So I think I'm sort of hard to tell where I should stand. Um, okay. So yesterday, I taught you a mountain pose into swan dive and flat back. And here, I'll stand to the side, flat back. Down into downward facing bend. Forward into downward dog. Plank, chaturanga, to half cobra and full cobra. Today what I'm going to add into that flow, when we come up from the swan dive, instead of continuing straight down into flat back, we're going to latch our hands together, clasp our hands, and we're going to just take a nice side bend from either side. And once again, once we go through the flow, we're going to actually take some breaths there. And then we're going to do a standing back bend. And it doesn't have to be too extreme. You can see I'm not really bending that far, but you also can see that my head and my spine are still in a line. You don't want to crank your head back. And you don't want to push your head forward. You want to still maintain a nice line in your spine. All right. So from there, you're going to let your hands go straight. And you're going to make sure that your hips are not tilted up. They are tilted down towards the earth and your quadriceps are tucked in. Next, you're going to sit down without letting your hips go, sorry, your knees shoot over your toes. It's a squat, basically, but it's called Utkatasana. And that is what it should look like. If you can't go that low, do what you can. All right. So, from Utkatasana, you're going to go back into flat back and proceed into downward facing bend, downward dog, and then instead of going straight to uh, plank today, you're going to have us go to table. That's where our back is flat, our hands are directly positioned underneath of our shoulders, so they're not extended too far out. And from here, we're going to enjoy cat cow. This is another back bend. This is cat. When we are doing cat position, we are inhaling. And when we do cow position, we are exhaling. Then 
from there, we're just going to step back into plank, chaturanga, half cobra, full cobra. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the flow. Again, I'm going to do it two times, and I'm going to let you do three breaths per movement. So I hope you enjoy and that you, you can really spend this time with me. If not, there will be a link later today, um, and it will be on YouTube, and you can watch it whenever you want. All right. So we're going to send our arms from mountain position into the heavens. Breathing in. As we breathe out, we're going to put our arms down into flat back. Make sure your knees are not locked. I had to check myself. All right, and then you go ahead and brush the ground with your hands if you can. If not, stay at the level you can as you bend down into stand standing forward bend. Make sure your hips are still pointed down, your knees are not locked. All right, I'm going to walk my hands forward into downward facing dog and my legs back. I'm going to make sure that my Shoulders aren't crunched up. I'm allowing my neck to be extended. My knees are still bent. My hips are tilted up this time. And I'm allowing a little cavity to be created in between my knees and my belly. All right, we're gonna rock up. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> we're just doing sun saltation. We'll do some sun salutation and then we'll go to the other moves. We're rocking forward into plank. We're gonna go down into chaturanga, letting your elbows graze your ribs, dropping your belly onto the earth and the tops of your feet onto the earth. Bring your hands slightly forward and lift your chest, looking straight forward. Move your hands and reposition them underneath of your shoulders and gently push yourself up as far as you can for a full cobra. Lowering yourself down gently, we're going to tuck our toes back to the earth and we're going to push up into plank. Taking one breath on the way back up. Go back into downward dog. Step, walk, or hop to your hands. Put your hands out to flat back and slowly roll your spine back up to mountain pose. All right, this time through, I am going to show you with the other movements. So I'm going to face forward this time. All right. Lifting your hands on the in-breath. We're going to clasp our hands together. We're going to gently send our hips to the left side of the room. And we're going to breathe as we let ourselves deepen into dolphin pose. to center and then we're going to send our hips to the right side of the room as we deepen the stretch along our side. You want to make sure that you're not tilted forward or tilted back. Tilting back is a variation but we just want to keep a straight line down to the earth with between our uh, legs to our arms. Coming back up to center, place your hands and uh, send your gaze up between your hands. We are going to gently center, uh, do a standing back bend, making sure your spine is still straight and your gaze is up. Coming back 
to center. We are going to make sure our hips are uh, towards the earth, our belly and our abs are engaged, our quadriceps are tucked together, and it, place your intention on your knees so that they do not extend over your toes as you gently send your bottom towards the earth. If you can, deepen as you breathe farther into the seated position of Utkatasana. One more breath. On the in breath, rise back up. On the out breath, you don't have to turn around. I'm just, I probably should stay over here. All right. <laughs> Now we're going to, on the out breath, we're going to send our arms to flat back. Now we're going to send our hands towards the earth and standing forward bend. Make sure your knees are not locked and your head is not tight. Allow it to loosen and maybe sway it a little bit. to stretch those calves and get them activated. One more breath. This time, we're going to send our gaze forward as we gently drop our um, chins down onto the earth and reposition our hands directly underneath of our shoulders so there is a straight line from our shoulder to our wrist. And now we are going to inhale. Yeah, inhale as we do cat and exhale as we do cow. So the cat is bowed, so and exhale as you bend your back and gazing up. Inhale, cat, exhale, cow. to flat breath back on the inhale inhale as you send your legs back into plank and I encourage you to stay in plank for three breaths making sure that your back is straight um, see I had to drop my my back or my bottom a little bit towards the earth. Last breath. All right. We're going to tuck our elbows in towards our chest, our ribcage, and gently lower into chaturanga. If you are strong enough, you can stay here and swoop into half cobra, or otherwise do as I've showed you before. Just rest on your belly, reposition your hands, Lower your toes onto the earth and breathe in. Allowing your gaze to be soft, your mind to be meditative and clear. All right, you're positioning your hands underneath of your shoulders and gently push up into full cobra. If full cobra hurts your back in any way, just stay Stay as low as you can, or just stay in half cobra. Two more breaths. All right. And we're going to drop ourselves back down, engage our toes to the earth, and push up into plank. One breath here. Inhale as you rise into downward dog. Step, walk, or hop to downward facing bend. 
inhale as you raise your arms up towards the sky and back down into mountain pose. So we're gonna go one time back through and I hope that you're already feeling some peace of mind from this. So starting in mountain pose, raise your arms up on the inhale, on the exhale, swan dive to flat back. <laughs> I did it again. Raise your arms into the inhale. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to grab your hands together and you're going to send your hips towards the right side of the room. On the inhale, rise back up to center. On the exhale, lower into the left, sending your hips to the right side of the room. Mirroring. This one is particularly hard. Again, it's called dolphin. It definitely, um, if you do it for very long, will help to strengthen your uh, side of your body. Come back up. Straighten your hands to the, the sky. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see better. And so I'm going to gently lift. And as I breathe out, I'm going to slightly bend my back, making sure my spine and head are still, neck are still in straight alignment. One more breath. On the inhale, come back up to center. And now we are going to keep our hands in the same position and we're going to sit down, making sure our intention is focused to not let our knees go over our toes. So on the exhale, sitting down. Make sure your hips are tilted downwards, your back is straight, your gaze is soft, and you're not straining in your face muscles. One more breath. On the inhale, rise back up. On the exhale, lower your arms into flat back. On the exhale, lowering into standing forward bend. Start walking your hands out and your feet out into downward facing dog. Inhale once more and on the exhale, drop your, knees, uh, your shins gently to the earth. Reposition your hands underneath of your shoulders. On the inhale, rise your back into cat position, allowing your neck to loosen and hang. On the exhale, bow your back into cow position. On the inhale, arch your back to cat. On the exhale, Lower your back into cow, and one more time, arch, and hold, exhale as you lower your back, inhale as you return to flat back, and gently send your toes back into plank position, three more breaths here, Again, making your butt gaze soft. Now, into Chaturanga, tuck your elbows in, 
and slowly drop into sh chaturanga. Letting your belly lay on the earth, drop your tops of your feet to the earth. Allow your hands to rest slightly before you and gently lift your torso into half cobra. Next, place your hands underneath of your shoulders and slowly rise into full cobra. Exhale, lower back down, plant your toes onto the earth, and inhale as you push up into plank. Inhale as you rise to downward facing dog. Inhale as you walk your hands to downward facing, or yeah, downward facing bend. Making sure again your knees are not locked. And inhale as you bring your hands to flat back and slowly curl your spine back up to mountain pose. So uh, thank you everyone who watched today. And um, if you are interested to help enhance your workout regime for this upcoming year, I have some products that you might be interested in. Uh, there is a protein project product that will, uh, it has a transfer factor in it, so it will allow you to boost your immunity while you also have a 564% of uh, caloric burn uh, and a 74% increase of muscle, lean muscle tone. Uh, I also know of a ingestible essential oil blend that will encourage you to have a higher metabolism as well as higher energy while you are working on increasing your healthy eating habits and adding exercise to your daily routine. And I have one more uh, that I know about, which is uh, blanking my mind. <laughs> oh, it's called Resume. And that one is a liquid energy tonic made of herbal, uh, sub, uh, herbal extracts, as well as vitamins that will, again, help you with your metabolism, your energy, and help increase your overall muscle tone as you work on your energy regime. So if you are interested in any of those, I would love to help give you more information about them. And also, if you're interested in finding out about how to make a side income, just contact me. Plus, I just would love to talk to more people on the daily. So lots of love and peace to you, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace to game changers. Hehehe. <laughs>